what's up, y'all? I said, what's up, y'all? Look at me when I'm talking to you, bro. Nah, I'm just messing with you, man. This is Knockout Boxing 86 TV, and we in here. So check this out, bro. Before I get going on today's video, my bad. Before I get going on today's video, y'all know what to do. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and share the video, bro. If you come through and view my video, be sure to hit that like button. Put your seatbelt on when you hop in my car. Also, comment down below so we can chop it up and talk boxing. I love doing that with y'all, but I can't do it with you unless you leave a comment. So be sure to comment down below. And if you want to have me hop on the panel or collaborate with me, reach out to me on my email address at knockoutboxing86 at yahoo.com. Again, it's knockoutboxing, the number eight, the number six, at yahoo.com. But without further ado, let's get it popping and get into today's video. And today, we're going to talk about Tiafimo Lopez, Floyd Mayweather, Logan Paul, bro. And I'm going to break all this down for y'all and give y'all my take on the whole situation. So for those of you who don't know, Tiafimo Lopez and George Cambosis, they were supposed to fight on June 5th. But then after they made their announcement, Floyd Mayweather has, and Logan Paul have made an announcement that now they're going to fight on June 5th, which has forced Tiafimo Lopez and to move his date, bro. Him, Trilla, Cambosis' team, they came together, and now they have moved their fight date. And they pissed off about it. And I understand why they pissed off about it. And I understand... Why they doing it, bro? It's a it's a good move, bro. It's a good move for them to move the fight, because as a diehard boxing fan, bro, I'm more I'm way ten times, a hundred times, a thousand times more interested in watching Tiafimo Lopez versus George Cambosis than I am watching um, Floyd Mayweather versus Logan Paul. But while being that, I also understand the business side of it, bro. And casual fans are just people. More people are gonna buy Logan Paul versus Floyd Mayweather than. Than anything close to what Tiafimo Lopez and Cambosis is gonna do, just because of who those guys are. I mean, you think of Floyd Mayweather, man, one of the most polarizing athletes, the one of the most polarizing boxers, you know, in history, bro. He gonna have people that's buying that fight that just want to see him get his ass beat, bro. He always will have that anytime he fights because people, it's a lot of people that really just can't stand Floyd Mayweather, bro. And then he's also going to um, have a lot of people he has a loyal following at the same time. So it's going to be people that rock with him that's going to buy the fight because they want to see him fight one more time. And then you look at Logan Paul, extremely popular man, over 30 some million followers on YouTube alone. And then all the other social media platforms, he has millions of followers, bro. His new age, YouTube fans, they're going to buy that shit and they're going to watch that shit just off the strength of him. So you put those two together, man, it's hard for Tiafimo Lopez in a mandatory challenger in Cambosis to compete with them on that date. So, smart business move for them to just move off that date, bro, and concede that date to Mayweather. Now, Mayweather's being petty with this shit. You know what I mean? I think they take... I think, if I'm not mistaken, LB said something about this is the takeover. You know what I mean? Like, they taking over the date, which is petty, bro. You know what I mean? And and I, But at the same time, it also serves a business purpose. You know what I mean? And, I, and I, I'll get into that, you know, a little bit on this video. But... But before I do that, let's talk about why it would upset Tiafimo Lopez and, and his father, bro. It's it's for obvious reasons. Once you get a fight date in boxing, bro, and you do your training camp, you do your training camp around that date. And they train to peak at the right time, right? They training to make sure they on weight, make sure they're as sharp as possible, to be on weight at the right time. And while two weeks, because I think they're moving it back to June 10th, you know, June 19th, while two weeks may not seem like a big deal to a casual fan or somebody that really don't follow boxing like that, it's a big deal for a fighter, bro. Because now you have to push your camp back. Now you're pushing your diet. You know, you're doing something different with your diet because you don't need to cut weight as quickly. You know, so you got to change a whole lot of shit up when you have to move your fight date like this. So I can understand why, you know, it would ruffle some feathers within Tiafimo Lopez camp and why they would be upset about it, bro. You know what I mean? And I, But I also understand... Not only the pettiness from Floyd Mayweather, right? But I understand what he's trying to do from a business perspective. He wants, if Javante Davis and Tiafimo Lopez ever fight, right? He wants Javante Davis to be the A-side. And so he was trying to be petty, hoping that Tiafimo Lopez and then would show pride, which is why I said it was smart for them to move off that date and just keep the same date. Because if they keep the same date, what is Floyd Mayweather doing? Not only is he getting his bag, Right? Not only is he making his easy money against Logan Paul, in my opinion, he's hurting the, the Tiafimo Lopez sales. He's hurting the numbers that they would do. But by Tiafimo Lopez and his team moving off of that date and just conceding that date to Floyd Mayweather, we get a big, we get a way better picture of how they're going to perform when their pay-per-view does because they're going to be standing alone on June 19th. So, um, you know, Floyd Mayweather made a chess move. 
Tiafimo Lopez made a chess move, and we we gonna see what happens, bro. Now, with that being said, how the pay per views do, how how Tiafimo Lopez does, that's yet to be seen. That's yet to be seen, but it's gonna be a fight that we're gonna get to see just how big of a star in boxing he really is. You know, we're gonna get to see what what he really bring to the table in terms of are people really willing to pay to watch him fight? You know, we're gonna find out, and cause. It'll be to watch him. People that buy Teofimo Lopez versus Cambosis ain't buying that shit for Cambosis, bro. Let's just keep it all the way a buck. People that buy that shit, I'm going to buy that shit. And other people that buy that shit are buying that shit because they want to see what's up with Teofimo Lopez. They gonna want, they want, they buying it to watch him fight. You know, shout out to the homies from Australia that's going to be buying that shit because of they, 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 they countrymen. You know, they brethren. You feel me? Um, George Cambosis. But over here in America, bro, we buying that shit for Tiafimo Lopez. So we're going to get a gauge on just how big of a star he is, which is either going to work to Floyd Mayweather and Javante Davis's advantage, if they, you know, if they ever come together and fight, or it's going to work to Tiafimo Lopez's advantage. Because let's say he go in there and he blow that shit out the water. Let's say he go in there and he blow that shit out the water. You know what I mean? Then... If you Tank Davis, you got a decision to make. Do you want to chase greatness or are you going to hold on to this A-side, B-side shit? But then it's going to also give us, because Tank Davis is fighting on June 26th. He's fighting a week later. So how are his numbers going to do? So we get to get a better idea of who the bigger star truly is. Because they, they got to meet up, bro. I, I, I need to see that. I need that smoke. I need that Tank Davis, Tiafimo Lopez smoke. I need that Tank Davis, Devin Haney smoke. I need that Devin Haney to your female Lopez smoke. I need these young, talented fighters from 130 to 140 to fight each other, bro. I'm tired of all this flexing and shit, bro. So hopefully this gives us a clear indication of what's going to happen and, and what's going to go on and how it's going to happen, bro, when we see what he does. Now, I do want to caveat all of this shit because Triller is not held to the same reporting standards that a network is because they're an app, bro. So they can tell you that they sold whatever the hell that they wanted to. Keep that shit in mind, bro, when y'all start looking at this shit. Because if you fighting on Showtime, if you fighting on Fox or some shit, they, they, they have to really report their shit accurately because they're networks, because they're on TV. Trilla can tell you whatever the hell they want to as a privately owned app. You understand what I'm saying? So keep that shit in mind when we get to breaking down these, these numbers in about a... Um, about a month and a half, man. It could get, it could get tricky. Um, I want to talk about something else. Um, Tiafimo Lopez's dad said, "Man, I'll get y'all out of here, man." Um, he he's pissed, and I, I get him being pissed because he fucked up their date, bro. But he he let his anger get the best of him because he said his son beat the shit out of Floyd Mayweather. Look, bro, Floyd Mayweather what forty four years old. I'm going to tell y'all like this, man. I'll get y'all up out of here. Can Tiafima Lopez beat up Floyd Mayweather right now in a boxing match? I don't know. I will say this. At 44 years old, if Floyd Mayweather is 75%, <laughs> if he's 75% of what he was as a fighter, he will dog walk Tiafima Lopez. He would dog walk him, bro, at 44 years old. If he's 75% of what he was. Anything less than that, I'd get an edge to Tiafimo Lopez. I'd get an edge to Tiafimo Lopez. But Floyd Mayweather has such a high ring IQ, bro, and he was so great, and he's so mentally strong. He just need to be 75, maybe not even 75, bro. If he, was like, if he like 65, 70% of himself, bro, of what he was as a fighter, if he if he's dead at 44 years old, which I think he could be because shit, he stays in shape, right? He never smoked, never drink, didn't party like that, so he don't have a wear and tear on his body like everybody else did. He didn't take a lot of fights. I mean, he didn't take a lot of hits throughout his career, so she, I don't know, senior. I don't know, Mr. Tiafimo Lopez, senior. I don't know. Floyd Mayweather at 44 might still be a problem for your son, bro. He might still be a problem. So, I don't know. I don't know about him saying that. He was letting his anger get the best of him. And then, let's just throw this out here because I don't even want people to even get it misconstrued. Floyd Mayweather at 23. How old is Tiafima Lopez? 23, 24? Floyd May 
Floyd Mayweather, Floyd Mayweather is light. Let's just do division. Floyd Mayweather is lightweight. Tiafimo Lopez is lightweight. Lightweight. Stop it, bro. <laughs> Stop it, bro. Pretty boy Floyd. <laughs> Pretty boy Floyd at 135. Come on, bro. Come on, Tiafimo Lopez Senior. You talking shit about a dude that might can beat your son up right now. Right now. I I, I wouldn't say I'd pick it because the man is old. But I don't know what he looked like. Let me see what he looked like against Logan Paul. Then we can we can we can see what's up. If them reflexes still sharp, shit. If he still pull countering niggas, bro. Come on, man. Come on, bro. Like don't don't do that. That's a legend, bro. That I got a number four on my all time list. I did an all time list a while back. Y'all go check it out, man. I did my top ten fighters of all time, bro. I got Floyd number four on there, bro. He 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 that he that way. He that great. Tiafimo Lopez is on a great trajectory. 15, 16 fights in. Already accomplished what he accomplished. Shit. Shit. He could get, he could, he, could, he could do some shit. I need to see him fight, you know, Hall of Fame level fighters. I need to see him get in there with those types of dudes, you know. Become a four division champion, you know. Do shit like that. Then maybe, you know, we can look at him. But right now, bro, that, that shouldn't even be something that comes out of Tiafimo Sr.'s mouth, bro. He like he should he should just pump the brakes on that. But at the same time, bro, that's what got him. That's what got his son where yet. That's what you know. He riding for his own. So don't don't get it twisted. What I'm saying, I ain't knocking that shit. Cause shit, my son be there. I shit. What my son in there in his room? Shit. I'm picking. It's him versus everybody. It's him versus everybody. And guess what? If if he is losing, I'ma help him. I'ma help. Him. I don't give a damn how old he is. He eleven years old. I see. I see. I see some eleven year old beating the shit out of my son. I'm, I'm snatching him up. I'm snatching him up. So I get a father's love for his child, bro. I get that shit. So I don't want nobody to get this shit twisted. I ain't got no problem with him talking his shit and popping his shit and riding for his son and being pissed off at what Floyd Mayweather did. No problem whatsoever. But y'all know the best way to get back at Floyd: beat the shit out of Javante Tank Davis. Beat the shit out of Javante Tank Davis. Push for that fight. I'd love to see that fight. Would I pick Tiafimo Lopez to pick beat Javante Tank Davis? Man, I hope that fight happens so I get to tell you my pick. But don't get it twisted. My name is Knockout Boxing. And I rocks with Javante Tank Davis. But that wouldn't affect my pick. But she, Javante Tank Davis, that's how you get at Floyd right now because that's his cash cow. That's the that's the dude that, that's bringing Floyd his money outside of boxing, bro. That's the, that's the name in his stable. So call for that shit. Don't call for forty four year old Floyd. Don't say you'll beat the shit out of forty four year year old Floyd. Say you'll say your son will beat the shit out of Javante Tank Davis. Let's get that fight. Let's get that fight. Let's get that fight, bro. But anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section, man. All in all, the moves by both parties, you know, Floyd Mayweather petty as hell. Tiafimo Lopez aggravated, angry, but cooler heads prevailed, and they made the right decision and moved off the date. And they're going to be fighting on June 19th. Um, so, all in all, bro, you know, it's a stalemate. Chess move over here, chess move over there. We'll see how it all plays out. We won't know until Tiafima Lopez fights on 19th and we get his numbers. And Javante Tank Davis fights on 26th and we get his numbers, bro. All in all, though, man, I'm excited. June going to be a good month. May is, gonna, May is on fire right now. May is on fire right now. We got Lewis Neary and Figueroa coming up. And then next week, we got um the undisputed match between Taylor and Ramirez. Shit getting lit, bro. Shit getting lit. It's fun to be a boxing fan right now. But y'all comment down below, man. Let me know what y'all think of all this. You know, chop it up with me so we can talk this boxing. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Share the video. If you come through and watch it, be sure to hit that like button, bro. And also, put your seatbelt on when you hop in my car, man. That's all I'm asking you to do. I appreciate everybody watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. And with that, we out here. Peace.